this rad bathing suit. It has a crisscross back and a semi-high thigh on it and super cute pink elastic on the end. You can download the pattern on my website under digital patterns. And this pattern is gonna come in sizes two through 24. So everybody can make one and wear it. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. I'm also offering something really cool right now. You can sign up and take a virtual sewing lesson with me and then it's just me and you working on your project together. Links for everything are down below. Supplies for this project are fairly simple. You're gonna need some spandex. I'm gonna be using this super awesome splatter print for the outside of my fabric and you're gonna need about a half yard of it. I'm also gonna be using a lining fabric. I'm gonna be using this bright green and I'm also gonna need a half yard of this. You're also gonna need some elastic. I'm gonna be using a decorative pico elastic so that way the edge of my bathing suit has a little lace detail. I'm gonna need two to three yards of this depending on what size you're sewing up. So you might wanna measure the perimeter of your pattern where your elastic is going. You're also gonna need a few basic supplies. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, your thread snips, your rotary cutter if you're using one, and you're going to need some matching thread. But in order to make this all happen, you're going to need your bathing suit pattern. So you can download the bathing suit pattern in the digital pattern downloads on my website links down below and then after you print out your pattern and tape it together it's gonna look something like this we're gonna have a front piece a back piece and a strap piece so it's just a three-piece bathing suit pattern so once you gather all those supplies we can start sewing together so I have my fabric laid out you can see I have my selvage nice and straight over here I also want to point out that this is a four-way stretch knit so it's gonna stretch selvage to selvage, crosswise, and it's also gonna stretch lengthwise. It's really important when sewing a bathing suit or creating one that you're using a four-way stretch. A four-way stretch is gonna make sure you're super mobile in it across your body and lengthwise. Imagine how uncomfortable it would be if your bathing suit didn't stretch lengthwise. Ow! So I have my paper pattern cut out, and now we're gonna go ahead and cut the fabric out. So I have my paper pattern laid down and I've followed my grain line. So the grain line is running down center front of the bathing suit. So remember, your grain line needs to be parallel with the selvage of your fabric. And the selvage of your fabric is the edge of the fabric that has those little perforations in it. So grab your rotary cutter and let's cut it out. Or it should look something like this. Now you're gonna take your back bathing suit pattern and we're gonna lay it on our fabric. Don't forget to double check your grain line. Now let's start cutting. And your back bathing suit should look something like that. Now the last thing we need to cut for the self is the strap. So go ahead and grab your strap pattern and we're gonna cut two of this. So I'm gonna cut two of the straps. I'm gonna go ahead and fold my fabric right sides together and then place my pattern on here so that way I'm cutting two out at the same time. So here are my two straps. Now that you have all your self fabric cut out, we're gonna go ahead and cut out the lining. And we're gonna cut out the exact same pieces we cut out of the self in the lining. So grab your rotary cutter, lay out your pattern, and let's cut it out. all of our pieces cut out and I've laid them out here so yours should look something like this. So we have a lining and a self of every single piece. Now we're ready to start sewing. So let's go over to the serger. And if you don't have a serger, it's okay. You can use a zigzag stitch for this step. So we're at the 
serger. And the first thing we're gonna do is sew together the crotch on our self pieces. We're gonna lay these two straight lines here on top of each other. And we're gonna go ahead and sew this up on the serger. So yours should look something like this. I've used the four thread stretch stitch on the serger. Now grab your straps and let's sew them on to the front of the bathing suit. Now I have the front of my bathing suit laid out nice and flat and I'm gonna go ahead and place one end of the strap matching with the small straight edge up here. This is technically like where your shoulder might be. Now both ends of the strap are the same, so it doesn't matter which end you go ahead and place up here. And now what we're gonna do is just serge across these two ends at the shoulder. Now we're gonna sew this straight. And go ahead and do the other one. There we go. So now your shoulders should be sewn together and they should look something like that. And then when we open them up, you have your seam on the outside that looks nice. Now what we're gonna do is sew up the side seams. So go ahead and place your side seams together, right sides together. If you like, you can clip these down or just make sure they stay lined up as you're serging them together. Keep lining it up as you're going. Try not to cut anything off. There's our beautiful serge seam holding together our side seam. So now let's go ahead and serge up the other side seam. So we have all of our seams sewn up. We have our shoulder seams. We have our side seams and then we have our underseam crotch seam here. Let's go ahead and turn it right side out and take a look at it. So fun. So this is the back of the bathing suit. So you can see how it has a nice low back. We've got our straps. Yeah, it's looking great. It's ready for some fun in the sun. Okay, so now what we need to do is sew together our lining. And you are gonna do the exact same thing that we did to the self outside fabric. You're gonna sew the side seams, the shoulders, and then the crotch together. So now let's sew that all up. So first I'm gonna sew the crotch seam together. So now let's sew the shoulders. Next we're gonna sew the side seams. Side seam one. Now let's go ahead and do the other side seam. Next, we're ready to go ahead and put the lining inside the bathing suit and sew the Pico elastic on. So I have my bathing suit self fabric laid with the right side out, and then I have the lining with the wrong side out. So now what we're gonna end up doing is sticking the lining inside of the self fabric. So we need the serged edge to be on the outside. So what we wanna do is go ahead and take this one and we're gonna insert it into this one. Again, this one's inside out and this one is right side out. Okay, so we're gonna take our lining here. We're gonna go ahead and put it inside this bathing suit. Usually like to grab it at this crotch seam here. And then you can notice when I lay it out, now I've got the lining inside of it and those raw edges are in the inside of the bathing suit now. So that is why I had it laid out with the wrong side facing up because now we've got nice clean seams on the inside of our bathing suit. Now what you need to do is grab your Pico elastic and let's head back over to the serger. And if you don't have a serger, just make sure you're using your zigzag stitch. Okay, so now what we need to do is put our lining on the bottom. We're gonna put our self on top of that, lining it up perfectly. And now we're gonna line up the Pico elastic right with the edge as well. And I like using these clips. These are great because you can't use pins in a serger. So I like to use these big clips 
and they're so big, there's no way you could possibly get that stuck in the serger or sew over that. So if you feel like you need a little assistance here, go ahead and put some of these clips on here and line it up. So I'm gonna start on the inside of the right shoulder and I'm gonna work my way down to center front and back up to the inside of the left shoulder. So make sure you're lining up all your layers and clamping down your Pico elastic all the way around. Now let's go to the serger and serge all three layers together. So I always wanna double check and make sure the wrong side of your elastic right now is facing up. So that way when we end up flipping it back later, the right side of the elastic is face up. So real easy mistake to make, so try and avoid that one. Let's go ahead and serge all these layers together. When you get to your clip, go ahead and remove it and just keep lining everything up. So notice what it looks like back here. So it should be looking something like this. Your serge should be going right to the edge of that decorative scallop. So now you should have this all surged on and all the layers should be together. So we went all the way around this U shape at center front. So now we're gonna start with the back bottom shoulder. We have all three of our layers lined up. Go ahead and clip that down and we're gonna go all the way down. This is center back here and then we're gonna come all the way back up to the other shoulder at the back. Now let's go sew that up. Okay, so let's sew all these layers together. So now your elastic should be looking something like this around the back of your bathing suit. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do the leg openings. So you've got your leg opening here, and when I start this, I like to start on my underseam. So I like to start somewhere by the crotch when I'm laying this down. So that way the overlap of elastic, because we're going in a circle, isn't gonna show. So now we've got our layers together here in the leg hole. We have our crotch seams here lined up, so nothing's gonna twist on us. Now what we want to do is take that right side of the elastic and go ahead and place it down. So now because I'm sewing in a circle, I like the edge of my elastic to almost be on an angle coming off. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So that way you can see it's on an angle when I'm starting. And this is going to create a nice overlap of elastic when we get to the other side of the circle when we're sewing. So that way there's no raw edges sticking out into the visible side of our bathing suit. So we want to place that right side down and go ahead and cut that on an angle when you're starting. So go ahead and grab your clamps and let's clamp that down. And then let's just straighten this out and line up all of your layers. It's gonna go like this all the way around the leg hole. So let's go ahead and sew up the elastic on these leg holes. Now we're getting to the point where it's the start of our elastic. So you can see how it's naturally curving off. So we're gonna go a little further. And now notice when I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna overlap and then I'm gonna come over on an angle again. So notice how this is gonna be on an angle again. So we're gonna overlap it, maybe a half inch. And then I'm gonna go take my elastic and pull it off to the side and surge right over it. So now you can see how these two pieces of elastic overlap into each other. And then when I flip it back, it's nice and finished. So now we have one of our leg holes completely finished. We have the Pico elastic going all the way around the circle. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing over here on this leg opening. So make sure when you're starting that your elastic is off of your fabric and on an angle.
Now remember when we get to the overlap, we wanna go a half inch and then pull your elastic down off the fabric. So now I'm gonna overlap it off of the fabric. Notice how it's over here and then keep searching. So now you can see the overlap of the elastic going on an angle. And then on this side, it's going up under on an angle. So when we flip it back, that looks really nice and finished. So now you should have the Pico elastic on all of your raw edges, minus the very edge of the strap, the short edge. But every other edge on the swimsuit right now should be covered in the Pico elastic. So you have your neckline, you have your two leg holes, and then you're gonna have your back piece as well. Now we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and turn our edges under with the zigzag stitch. So now we're gonna take our elastic and we're gonna fold it under. And we wanna keep this nice and flat because we're gonna go ahead and zigzag on top of the elastic, catching it on the back here so that way it stays under and that way we get this really pretty scalloped edge of elastic on the outside of our seam. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that to all of the edges that we just put the elastic on. So I have my zigzag stitch selected and I'm gonna go ahead and zigzag on the outside of my fabric. So I have a ballpoint needle on and this is gonna prevent the needle from bouncing back and having skipped stitches. So make sure you're using a knit needle or a ballpoint needle. So while I'm sewing, I'm lining up the edge of my fabric with the right angle here on the foot of the A foot. So look how nice that's turning out. So I have the zigzag on the leg holes. It's looking beautiful. And then we have it up here on the neckline and then on the straps. That looks great as well. And then if we turn it over, you'll notice it on the back too. Look how beautiful the swimsuit looks. I love the contrast lining in this. So for the very last step, we are going to sew the straps down. So the strap position can vary. I would suggest safety pinning it on the bathing suit where you think you want it. Try it on and make sure your straps are tight enough or they're in the right position on your back. Depending on your body shape, you might want them out further or down lower on your center back. So definitely safety pin it and try it on to make sure they're in a good position. So I know right where I want mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin them down. So as I was saying, you can pin them lower at center back or you could pin them up a little higher. Um, so if you needed them tighter, you could also cut some off and make them a little bit tighter if you needed them up a little higher. So this is really gonna be a fitting for you. So go ahead and safety pin these down and try it on. So I know right where I want mine. So I'm gonna slip these under here and go ahead and pin them down. And I've got about a half inch of fabric on the back, which I'm gonna show you. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of extra in the back so you have something to grab onto while you're sewing this down. Mine's about a half inch down because that's where I need it to be the proper tightness on me. So now I'm gonna pin this other one on here and then we can head to the sewing machine. Looks good. We are almost done. I am so excited. Let's go sew down the straps and try it on. So I'm gonna be using the zigzag stitch for this step and I'm gonna be going over the existing zigzag stitch that's already there. That way it's gonna look really nice and have a clean finish to it on the outside. So remember, I'm stitching over the existing zigzag stitches that are here. So I'm gonna put my foot down and then go ahead and take my pin out. Don't forget the back stitch. And cut. Now let's do the exact same thing to the other side. So we did it, we finished the bathing suit and it looks awesome. I cannot wait to try this on and see what it looks like on. The front 
of the bathing suit looks so cute. I just love this pink elastic on the legs. It's so delicate and feminine looking. I love the contrast of the green lining in the inside. It really just pulls all the colors together really nice. Again, I love the detail of the little pink lace edge on the straps crisscrossing the back. I think this is going to look so great on, especially with the V in the back and then the crisscross of the straps. It's finished! We are ready for the pool. It is time for some fun in the sun. Check it out! I would love to see photos of how your bathing suits turned out. So make sure you tag me on Instagram or send me some photos and I'll post them in the stories. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a bathing suit with me. And remember, if you want the pattern, you can get it off of my website under digital download. Make sure you follow me on So Anastasia on Instagram and Facebook and all the fabulous social media sites. The links for all of that are down below. And if you haven't been over to my Patreon lately, make sure you hop on over and check it out and see all the ways you can help support and grow So Anastasia. And if you're in Chicago, you can take a one-on-one -on -one private sewing lesson with me or a group sewing class. And right now, I also have virtual sewing classes. So I can help you sew your project in your studio and I can be in my studio. How cool. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you with my next sewing project. Thanks.